Hi everyone, I'm Matt from the Critter and the Butterfly YouTube channel. I'm the Critter part of the duo. In today's video, we're going to do a review on the Lit Mobile or Lit Solar solar power bank. Now we purchased this thing. They didn't just drop it into our laps or send it to us to review it. We're doing this all on our own because I thought it was a pretty cool unit when I saw the specs and uh, thought you might want to see what it's all about. So kick back, relax, and check it out with us. Hi everyone. What brought us to this cardboard box is this little guy here. This is my, well, current, a USB power bank. I've had it for quite a while. It's about as old as dirt. It's definitely been through it. You can kind of tell by looking at it. It's a little beat up and bounced around once or twice. Well, it's reaching the end of its service life. I used to be able to charge my phone with this thing, oh, four times. But now I'm getting one out of it, two if the phone's not too dead. So it was time to retire this little guy, get something to replace him with. So I looked around, saw what was available, went to the different expos and looked around online. And I ended up with what's in the box, which has got lithium ion batteries in it. Ooh, scary. So, we'll crack this guy open and look inside and see, oh, they must really be proud of their packaging because there's no shock absorbing anything in here. There's just the box, which we will take out. Let's put this over here out of the way. And there it is. Now, you've seen these things all over, I'm sure. The Lit Mobile or Lit Solar. Solar. Battery pack. So we'll crack this thing open and see what you get. You get a 50% off little card site-wide. You get a cable USB-C to USB-C with a USB-C to USB-A 3.0 adapter. Very nice, very nice. You get the power bank. This thing is huge. And you get a care and feeding book. A care and feeding of the solar power bank. This piece of paper tells you everything you could possibly want to know about the solar power bank. So let's put these things out of the way. And there it is. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Definitely heavier. Looks pretty cool though. So let's take a kind of a tour around it. We'll start on what's the left side and that's going to have a rubber cap which when you open it up it shows a USB-C port and this will either charge this power bank or it will charge a USB Type-C device. Uh, quick charge it. On the end of it, we have another rubber cover that hides a USB 3.0, and this will either charge the battery bank or charge a device at high speed. And the USB 2.0 will either charge the power bank or charge an external device at a standard rate. We've got a micro USB in the middle that just charges the battery bank only. And we put this rubber cover back on. The unit is water resistant and shock resistant. <laughs> nah, I don't usually drop my stuff. Anyway, it's shock resistant and water resistant. So on the right side, we have the power button, which is right here. You push it once and it activates your display. We have four blue lights, which says it's charged, which is kind of nice. And if I had more light, 
we would see a green, there it is, a green light, which says it's getting solar power from my super strong, he laughed, desk lights. So there you are, the front, got the display and the solar panel. The back has got the magic. What the back does, grab my monitor here, oops. After 30 seconds, if nothing is attached to it, it shuts off automatically. So we will push the power button once again. Our red light will come on, we'll lay this down, and wireless charging. Will you look at that? Oh my, very cool. It's one of the things that really drew me to it was the wireless charging capability. No wires, no muss, no fuss, no monkey business. Very nice. But there's more. Aside from this being a very nice wireless charging dock, if you push the power button twice, it turns into a light. Pretty cool. It's got some brightness to it. It'll light up a room if you have got no power. Walking around outside, you'd be able to see what you were doing. And if you push this power button one more time, you've got disco fever. Highly annoying, but if you wanted to get somebody's attention, that would definitely do it. Push it one more time and the light goes off. Now again, this thing will stay on for about 30 seconds. If there's nothing attached to it, it'll turn itself off automatically. It's got protection for over voltage, short circuit protection. On the output side, it's got under voltage and short circuit protection on the input side, so it completely protects itself from anything you might do to it that it doesn't like. It also has a kind of a cool looking little hole here that uh, you could put a rope through or a lanyard or something and hang it if you wanted to hang it. You could put it around your neck if you wanted to. I wouldn't suggest it as heavy as this thing is, but you could. So we'll set this little guy down and uh, stare at it while we run some specs. So there you have the specs and the features list. Pretty impressive, really. And now we'll do the rest of our review, which is not gonna be a surprise, really. It's, like I said, big, bigger than I thought it was gonna be and heavier than I thought it was gonna be, but it is solid, there's no doubt about it. It's not like it was put together with glue and staples, very nice. Solar charging and wireless charging, charge three things at a time. Nice bright light. It's even got a little rope uh, hanger thing on it here. Really nice, the specs are good, the features are good. Um, the only problem we're having with it, um, complaint that I have, is the capacity. The commercials and the uh, booklets say 20,000 milliamp hours, but we're not getting half of that out of it, unfortunately. Here's my uh, Note 9 give you a size comparison there. It's 4,000 milliamp hours, and I can maybe get three charges out of it, and I don't usually take it lower than 10%. Now, when we tested it, I fully charged it with solar, fully charged it on a couple different wall warts in order to find out um, how it did. And no matter which way I charged it, I still had the same problem with low capacity. Now, if you've got one phone and you're hanging out outside, you know, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be a big issue. But if you have to be able to charge something overnight when there's no other power available, say you want to charge a Note 9, there's 4,000 milliamp hours. I've got uh, 2,500 in a Note, in an iPhone. Got another 2,800 in a 
iPhone 7 that the, the butterfly Rini has. And then uh, you want to run a camera or something like that off of it, or a charge a camera. Um, you're going to go up against the close to 20,000 milliamp hours as it is. And if you don't get half of that, then it's going to be a problem. Um, and that's kind of the market I th think they were aiming at, is to be able to charge a bunch of stuff when you don't have any other power and then be able to charge it during the daytime when the sun's out. Anyway, but that's really the only issue I have with it. That and communication. Contacted Lit Mobile and Lit Solar. They both kind of go to the same place, it looks like. And uh, emails, about two and a half, three weeks, no reply from Lit Solar. Uh, a help form on Lit Mobile, about a week. Haven't heard anything back from them on that. So. I don't know. The communication is kind of scary, and the low capacity is uh, kind of an issue. But as far as the specs go and the way it's worked for me, it'll charge this stuff up. I can plug anything into it with the USB or the USB C, charges it right up, no problem. Solar works, so it, it's a great unit. Specs are good. They put something, a list of specs together that's really cool, which is why we bought it. But the low capacity compared to the advertised and the lack of communication is kind of scary. So there you have it. That is our review of the Lit Solar or Lit Mobile Solar Power Bank. Hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up there down underneath the video. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload something new. Thanks again for stopping by. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy.